Welcome back everybody to another Glios toy review. We've got two brand new drops that just happened over the past month here. One from Onel Designs. We've got some additions to the craze, a whole themed event around it. It's super exciting and I love my craze. So you know I was participating in that one as best I could. We're also going to be seeing the return of the Mangalores from Toyfinity. They've got a couple new colors that came out recently and they look super, super nice, including a glow in the dark Mangalore, which I'm very excited to check out get my hands on and then eventually put up on my shelf with the rest of them uh, it's gonna be super super cool to see at night i'm super stoked so we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into the packages here not waste any time if you like the glass toy reviews if you like toys in general make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like let's check them out okay two boxes one from onel one from toyfinity let's get some craze on then some mangalores we'll start with onel we'll check them out now there was a lot to this drop there was a lot of different items you can get a lot of which are still available in the store at O'Neill so make sure you go check out that site see what's left and available for you I could not unfortunately get everything so I stuck mainly to the new Zoloid figure and the few little craze because I love my cray collection so I had to maintain getting all the new crays that were available at least hopefully we got a stowaway in here too i'm hoping and it looks like we did awesome we do have a couple like more armored builds for the cray booths so we've got an armored one and then the cray hunter which is pretty sick we're gonna check those out but let's start with our little main man first we've got this guy this one is the neo nebula cray he's got that little nice purple hues on it kind of like a dark maroony brownish purple and then that lighter purple with some little highlights of pink going on in the gun he looks excellent i love the purples i don't have enough of the purples so this is a welcome addition very very cool one i like the little mix up then we've got i believe let me check the name on this dude that i believe this is mk3 marauder i believe it's the marauder mk3 yes it is marauder mk3 so this is our third version of this one i believe this is one of the classics from like the og craze that you could get this is one of the original colors this nice brown and purple obviously it's such a nicer crisper clear brown and purple going on him do i have one of the older marauders let me see i don't think i do oh wait oh i do have a version actually let me pull him down here i think this is an older version of the marauder you can see it's a little bit more faded brown and a little bit more faded purple i don't know if this is the original marauder um or if it's the mk2 or something like that but just so you can kind of see the difference between old and new this one's got more vibrancy more lucidity got some more nice saturation going in all the colors welcome addition nice little black going on there for the shadows of the gun i guess you could say not highlights because black's not going to be a highlight on this but it is highlighted of color I, I suppose either way very nice very cool more purple yes please then we've got the sentinel this aqua color very very sharp aqua teal oh whoa he just sh oh gosh oh boy i'm hitting the camera i'm hitting everything just to get these crays open but let's check this guy out the sentinel cray very very cool teal again such a nice one such a nice one in fact i've got a good comparison one here for you i don't this is a i don't think this is a second version or anything but this is an older one i might have to try to find the name or if it is like the same variant but it's very very similar very similar but this teal is just a little bit more crisp obviously this one's got kind of like uh i want to say a more matted look on this one and this one's a little bit more glossed i guess would be the best way to put that but I love the different tones of teal and green going on this. These nice aqua colors look really, really phenomenal on this cray. Again, he's got that dark green in the little hand cannon. Looking excellent. Looking stellar. Very nice. These three guys were part of the main drop. Uh, they were really cool additions to the cray line, I think. Obviously, we've got our little armor boys here that just look awesome, too, that we're about to go into. But let's check out the stowaway. And unfortunately, I'm not sure of the name, but he is going to be just this little kind of nice gray. Does he have any other tones or is he all gray? I think he's just like an all kind of like beigey gray. He almost seems like he's got tinges of light brown, but it's very gray. It's very gray looking. I want to see, do I have another gray one? 
to kind of show that light brown stuff off a little bit. It just feels like he's got a little bit of this kind of like tan like mix almost. Like he took like a nice beigey tan and then like mixed it with a gray. Very, very interesting for that. But you yeah, can't complain when you get a little stowaway cray. Gotta love it. So we got the four total here, which is awesome. We'll put those all out and I think we'll check out the armored cray next, which has a very unique like pinkish orangish tone to it. So it's got these extra little like leg parts that go on one of the other kind of like nice little figures that was along with the drop. We've got like extra little appendage pieces going on here too. Let me see if I can pull up one of these. So you can see we've got like a couple of these. We've got another one of these ones. So you get two of these little pieces, just the little appendages. And then of course, we also get the classic little Cray Booth appendages too. So if you want to swap them out and just make them into a normal size Cray Booth, you can do that. All of it comes with him, but this is how he looks. The armored version right here. It's got these nice little attachments and everything. A bigger cannon on him, just ready to go, ready to rock and roll. And he is ready to take somebody out, either a Cray Hunter or maybe he's part of the uh, Legion to take out the Crays. I don't know. They're like turning Crays on each other. Cray versus Cray. Nice, light, peachy tones. It's almost got some nice, like, like a creamsicle type orange to it going on. Very, very nice looking. Very pastel faded colors on these. So if you kind of like that look, you're going to like how this guy is. You can see there's like uh, a fist, what would normally be used as a fist, used as a joint piece for his arm. Uh, again, on this side too, for the cannon side, which is interesting little notations. I like kind of spotting where they're using pieces here and there. Uh, this part, I'm not sure what that part might be for originally but it's just cool to kind of see these guys flavored out a little bit with some extra pieces and part made into their own thing. It's really, really unique. Very, very cool. I'm digging it. That is the armored little cray. Very cool. I love all the extra pieces you get with that too. That's really neat. So if you wanted to, again, just swap out, make him a normal cray, use these little leg pieces for whatever build you want. That is kind of ideal and pretty nice to have. All right, last one for the craze. We've got the Cray Hunter. Again, we've got craze trying to hunt down craze, which is just crazy. Again, similar to the armored, we've got all these extra pieces. We got some switch pins in here, a couple of those. We do get all the additional parts to make them into a normal cray. I love this vibrant green and orange look that's going on. And then we do get a couple little fists, what would normally be fists for the extra components. If you want to like make them more into like the armored version or something and a couple more little sweet little attachments here if you wanted to make extra long arms. But now we can check out how he looks. He's pretty beefy. I love how the cannons look on this guy. He looks pretty sick like this. Let's just kind of like get his cannons out here like he's ready to rock and roll somehow. You got to flip him around so he's like ready to just take out any cray he sees with his dual arm cannons. Pretty wild. Pretty sick though. I don't know if you can just see how nice and vibrant that orange is, but it is really, really nice. I really dig it. I could probably rotate these a little bit, give it a little bit more flavor. I don't know. How would you guys prefer these up? Yeah, up like that. Oh yeah, that's, that's nice. So you can flip these arms down and around. You can even have them like kind of walk on all fours like this. I believe he's kind of pictured like that a little bit on the O'Neill site. I don't know if he's still available still, uh, but he's kind of got like that little kind of gorilla aspect cray going on there. It's very nice. I love the colors. It's kind of got this nice dark greenish blue teal flavoring with that nice vibrant orange. Not quite the like EMD construction orange that we've seen from O'Neill in the past and Biomaster. So it's a bit more, oh, reddishy orange, brighter saturated orange, which I love the variation on that. I prefer this, I think, than to like the construction worker orange. Uh, it's just very nice. It's very cool. I like his little gorilla look going on here. You can kind of pimp him out like this, make him kind of walk on all fours and he is ready to go pop up shoot a cray, blast him into oblivion, take its place and move on to the next, I guess. I don't know the story of any of these guys yet. I haven't been fully filled in on the lore yet. Eventually I got to get caught up on that. I just catch tidbits here and there. But man, what a lineup of craze. That's just so cool. What a look, what a look. Now 
We do have another figure that got in this O'Neill drop. He is sold out, unfortunately, of course, because he was going to be very popular. It's a Zoloid, and it is purple, so you knew I had to grab it, because come on, how can you not grab the purple Zoloid, man? So cool. It is the Neo Nebula Zoloid. Very, very sharp. Very, very cool purple colors on this guy. I mean, he just looks incredible. Let's get a nice shiny look up top here. Hopefully we're getting some good, decent lighting on this man. But there we go. You can kind of check him out a little bit more like that. That works. Oh boy, he looks phenomenal. I love all the different headpieces on these guys. You know, I've, I've raved about the nice look and detail and texture that these guys have. Just a quick rotation of the body and the back and the muscles and the leg muscles with the cool little hook joints and everything are so cool i'd love if they made like little attachment things that you could clip on like the adventure pack type style but specific to the zoloids would be pretty sick i think they could pull off some cool stuff just wait until biomaster gets his hands on some of these zoloid molds i bet he's gonna fry with some accessory stuff of course as always we got the flip around head version for this neo nebula guy pretty sick pretty standard we also have big brain aspected little alien one-eyed cyclops a big brain guy and you can flip it for the two eyed so he's got two eyes and a big brain i prefer this one he looks sick either way it's a nice little additional head and then we get of course oh we're missing that oh okay we need to put a switch pin in for this headpiece i guess oh i'm not gonna bother with a switch pin i am not in an area to do that but we got our little kind of booty anus hole looking slug creature we could flip these eyes up or down or whichever way you want to go that's how he's going to kind of look you can flip them around as well to get this more like meaty kind of look going here without any mouth uh not the biggest fan of this one i think he could work on other builds but i don't know i'm just not the biggest fan we also do get some different hands so we can get the holder fist hands which is nice so if you want to have them hold a sword or something like that you can it comes with the claws on which is okay by me i love the claws but you can also pop these off at the joint and put on a little hand cannon if you so desire bam hand cannon ready to rock ready to roll with that highlighted pink just like on the cray booth now he's missing a head let's pop his head back on so you get the full effect bang there you go ready to rock and roll think i'm gonna just keep the claw hand on though for now he is sick though i only got one of him he did sell out unfortunately so again uh there was a lot on the site initially like lots of other cray hunters and different other figures that are part of this craytacular war that's happening um they all look really cool and i know there's a few left there were some fade-ins that i passed on this time too because i just want to focus on the zoloid and the craze so go support O'Neill on the site if you see anything that interests you uh see what they got left you know go support them this was a really fun cray booth drop which i am for it okay we're gonna get the box out for toyfinity we got more mangalores it's been a minute since we've had a mangalore drop so i was stoked to see these guys oh we got packing peanuts oh how lovely just dump those out get those out of the way here anybody else get really annoyed with packing peanuts all right i got a couple things from this drop and it looks like we've got this kind of like blacked out bag some kind of mystery thing going on here which is very enticing so we're going to leave that for a minute i want to get into what the mainstay was of this drop we have the mangalore the glow in the dark mangalore people have been asking they've been wondering when we gonna get the glowy of the mangalore man and now we finally got him you get your little Kozilek eye or whatever you call this thing but that's glow in the dark you do get a nice little claw arm accessory on this dude which is fantastic let's slap that on because you know it just be better and our classic mangalore vibe our mangalore build but this time in a glow in the dark version let's check out how that is gonna glow gotta shut off a little of these lights or something let's just get something going here it's gonna be hard we got like this little like kind of blue on blue background here it's not gonna go well for the glowy but you can see how he's gonna shine in the night with this little black light i have here it's going to be super, super sick. I'm excited to see him on my shelf tonight, getting all glowed up. He is looking pretty slick. It, like I said, it's been a minute since we've had any of the Mangalores still powering through with their calf muscles. Incredible. 
Oh boy, we can flip around that head. We've got that nice teal head. It is pretty matchy match color wise with the O'Neill Craybooth actually, which is pretty funny, the Sentinel one. But that is a cool, I like this side. The, that nice teal looks good, but his face is gonna glow and this side is not gonna glow. So I gotta keep him on that side, I think. He looks really, really sick though. A really nice addition to the Mangalore line. And yeah, I can keep adding them up on the shelf because I've been waiting for more of these. It's been a minute and we, he, they delivered, they, they delivered hard on this one. This was a really, really cool drop. So I actually got something I normally don't get from Toyfinity. It is their little Robo Force line. This is the, oh, I forget what these are called. The Blood something, Blood Fiends or something like that. No receipt in the bag. Of course, I can't fully remember. Blood Red Robo Force. And then we've got Manglers coming up here too. That'll be really cool to check out. But uh, you know what? These are just great building block pieces, especially for robots, big, huge, like armivore robots and stuff like that look really sick with these. So it was kind of, I kind of wanted to switch it up, get one of their little Robo Force guys. You know, it's a simple little robot build, very, you know, lost in space-esque. You guys have seen these before, I'm sure any Glass fans out there would recognize the Robo Force aesthetic. Very, very cool in this translucent red. Gotta say, it's fire. And you actually get this little little douchey head here. I don't know. It's like this brain head thing. They've always looked really cool to me. You can like slap this on wherever. And it just kind of gives this like flavor of, uh, you know, now, now he's kind of like this weird hybrid mix of android and humanoid weird alien creature, which is fun. So, you know, just something to fiddle with, uh, with builds or something like that. Maybe slap on a, a cool creature or an armivore build. You can make some cool armivore builds with these big blocky boys. But this red is incredible. So let's check out the Mangler version of this red. It is going to be lit. Oh man, looks super cool. Just through the packaging already looks phenomenal. Let's pull them out. Hey! Again, switch pins. We got that eye in there and whatnot that we just showed off from the last one. That's kind of just standard for the course for the little Manglors here. Let's flip around his legs, check him out, sturdy him up. Bloodlord something like that. He is the bloody beast Mangalore. His face looks sick. I love how they did that. Actually, they have like this nice little highlighted area on the mouth region, chin and the forehead area. Looks really cool. None of my other Mangalores are painted like that actually. So this is kind of like a nice different unique flavor to how they did the face paint on this one. I like the switch up. It's very cool. It's got this dark maroony brownish purple very like metallic-y purple too if you can catch the light on that metallic parts for this nice shadow highlighted areas uh it gives a really nice nice look nice division between parts i mean just take that in that is super super dope give a little shine on it with a flashlight maybe check that out here we go we can kind of do that you can kind of take a look at some of those features with the little translucency going on have I just been out of focus this whole time? Please don't tell me that's been the case. Focus up, camera. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry if that was out of focus, but hopefully you can kind of take it in now. Check out kind of what's going on with this guy. He looks incredible. I love it. Of course, we do get the arm, the classic claw Mangalore arm. He looks even sicker now with this. The Bloodlord is just flopping. Uh, because he gets a little top heavy with this arm. That's okay. You just got to take your time, position him. And then he looks epic as crap. Like, just look at that. That is incredible. That looks so, so cool. Incredible claw, incredible hand, incredible little look going on with this guy. He will fit right in in the ever-growing array of colors the the Mangalores have been providing us from Toyfinity. I did get, of course, a second one of those. I had to pick up a second one of the Blood Lord Mangalores. They just looked too cool not to. They were a little bit less expensive than what the glow in the dark one was, so grab myself two of these, save him for later. Who knows what we'll do with them. We also did pick up the little bonus extra limb pack of the Blood Fiend, Blood Lord packaging for the Kozilek, whatever creature stuff you want to get going here, the Kozakrak, whatever. I still don't know how to say this guy's name. It's just crazy, but that's the headpiece that you'll get. You would have recognized him by now. And then, of course, the two epic, crazy Lovecraftian mutation arms in that nice blood red. 
We're going to pop those on. Of course we are. Of course we are. We got to try them out. A couple attachments for the legs to uh, come in this package. So if you want to like beef up any figure, make them a little bit taller, you can do that. In fact, why don't we, why don't we just go ahead and try it out? I don't think I've tried out the extensions on my Mangalores with this yet. It works pretty well getting these little extensions because it kind of evens you out with how long the arms are typically on these mutation packs. So adding a little bit extra height in the legs just kind of makes it look more natural and now he just towers above everyone oh my gosh look at that you're gonna have to finesse the legs a little bit with these uh these pieces i'm sure there might be better like joint extenders out there sometimes with these they work okay you gotta gotta shift the legs a little bit to get it going but overall i mean that is pretty dang cool if we can get him fully into frame here with that let's move our robo force guy and just back him up so you can kind of just see what i'm talking about with the craziness of this he got a little bit more height on him he looks super epic looks super super dope with that nice little extension again it just helps with how long the arms are but it works really well. That is super dope. Great purchase buying this bonus pack of these guys. Great little add-on. You know, not too expensive to grab these extra parts. They're always worth it for these Mangalores. It's just cool to have those big, beefy, crazy monster parts. Super fun. Okay, so now I'm super curious what this little mystery bag is all about. Let's see what we have in this thing. I don't know. Ah, a little mortal. That's cool. Okay, a little like stowaway mortal dot guy here. He's like this nice silver. Is he like glowy at all or anything? Ooh, he's got kind of a UV vibe to him, actually. That's pretty dope. Okay. That's a nice little throw in addition. Very cool. Grab myself a little exclusive mortal. I don't know how exclusive it is or how often these were getting handed out, but it's just fun to get a little bonus thing in, in your little glass packages. You can't, you can't deny that. That's fun. There's a look once again at everything we opened up and looked at today. Again, the Mangalores were so fun to check out and get some new ones in. Go check out Toyfinity. Go check out their store website. See what's left of these guys. I, I think everybody's still available. Don't know about the glowy. He might be sold out. I know, I, I'm pretty sure they have enough of the Bloodlord guides. So again, go, go check them out though. Go support. And um, once again, here is O'Neill's site too. O'Neill.store, pretty simple, easy to remember on that one as well. Go get some craze if they got some left or pick up anything you can find. And guys, if you watched all the way to the end here, I appreciate it because stay tuned. I, I, I'm hoping these come in really fast, but we got some brand new figures from spaced out designs they just released uh just a couple days ago got myself everything from the new drop we are going to check out some brand new additions to the gliovs verse it is going to be super super awesome they look incredibly cool and epic and i love spaced out i love what they do so don't miss that make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the spaced out design Galios review coming up very soon. That's going to do it for the video. Thank you for staying all the way to the end. I greatly appreciate it if you're still here. And while you are, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and comment below what was your favorite figure that we saw here today from these recent drops. And tell me if you're excited for the new figure from Spaced Out Design. The package is coming in. It should be here tomorrow. I'm going to be filming it. And I'm, I'm super stoked to see a brand new figure for Glyos. So let me know your thoughts on what you've seen from that drop so far. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your week, and we will catch you guys in the next video.